Hi, Susan here. This is just a quick little video on showing you how I use Tacket to um, put my glitter application on my rocks. I usually use this for uh, smaller projects. Um, my larger products, projects I'll use uh, resin. Uh, it's uh, a concentrate uh, Tacket, so I use a 50-50 ratio. Uh, just eyeball it. 50% uh, of the glue versus uh, the water and I just use a little pipette here squirt it in very scientific and then I mix it until it's nice and smooth get all the lumps out um, yeah so I hope you find uh, this method easy to do as I do um, and like I said, it's great for small projects like uh, like I did on the glitter glitter rocks. I used it for their eyes and the little body parts. Um, I did uh, another video on how I apply glitter on a sort of tacky rock that's been resined. So it's sort of taking the, the rock um, from the resin bath uh, when you're able to touch it but it's still not completely cured it's sort of a little bit sticky and I rub the res uh, the glitter in that way so I do have that in a video I think it's uh, under dragon eggs one of my earlier videos um, and then other glitter video I have a chunky glitter application video which uh, is also I think it might have been my first one of my first videos that I posted on my YouTube channel and that again is very simple little method for applying chunky glitter um, just you know for beginners that you know not quite sure what method anyway so here you can see it's a nice sort of milky so I'm going to apply it now on this rock that I have primed with black gesso of course you can put this over any surface it does help if it's uh, been painted with something first uh, use a nice soft brush opposed to more of a bristly like oil paint brush. This one's nice and soft, synthetic bristles. And uh, try to get the brush strokes out as much as possible. Uh, it just goes on more evenly. Um, but you know, I, I'm just doing this very quickly for the sake of uh, getting a little video out for you because I had some people ask me about how, how I apply my glitters. These are little wooden discs I got from the dotting center uh, that I've uh, painted and I thought I would try these. They are wood so um, I forgot to put a little bit of a base coat of uh, Mod Podge on first which I usually do when I paint uh, wood or I do a combination of mixing the mod in with um, uh, the paint to save a step but for didn't do that today anyway we'll let these dry okay well my tacket is drying I just thought well maybe I'll just show you some different kinds of glitters because this is videos for um, geared towards you beginners that are interested in um, making your projects look a little more fancy so there's traditional glitters like these that you can get from Michael's the dollar store that you know are your traditional sort of you know, pieces like that and uh, I even have one of these from Martha Stewart it's a glow-in-the-dark glitter as you can see I've probably only used it a couple of times um, and so that just stays here there's these dollar store variety ones that you can get and all of these glitters will work with the method that I'm showing you today uh, then I purchase lots of different kinds of glitters from uh, AliExpress or um, even Amazon, depending. I shop around and see who's got the best deal. So there's these kind that are like the dollar store ones.
right? So you can get in these little containers, which are great. Uh, the more holographic ones like these, I uh, recently posted some glitter bugs. So these are ones where it you'll get sort of that rainbow effect with them. If you're in Canada, there's a company called uh, The Pink Chair, and I think you might have heard Rachel from Rachel's Rocks uh, talk about The Pink Chair a while ago. This is mixed in with my cat hair. <laughs> this is like one of my favorite ones that it's just blue and red mixed together. Gorgeous. This is another one of theirs. It's called Hollow Bronze. Just yum, yummy. All right, so those are those sort of grainy type glitters. Um, then I go into um, powders. So powders are, are a little bit different. These are flakes. So you can get the color shift from these. You can see the gold, purple in, in this one. And the flakes... Uh, you want to wear a mask when you use these ones because it floats up in the air. Uh, so it's a very different kind of glitter. Okay, it's hard to show it on the phone here, but anyway. So those are flakes. Uh, and you can get a really nice chrome, chrome finish with the flakes. And... Other types of powders is maybe more of a like a mica powder. Oh, oh that one's sealed. Let's see if I have one here that's not sealed. They're all sealed. These are ultra fine powders, so that's why they come sealed up like this. And this will probably go everywhere if I open it. So it's like, it's a pigment, so it doesn't have any sparkle to it. So these, you can make watercolor paints with these ones really nicely. You get real saturated pigment. And. What other glitters? More of the powders, flakes. Yeah, I've got quite a collection. This is like another mica powder, but it's more of a pearlescent one. So it's very, very fine. Um, a little more saturated color, like an eyeshadow. So I'll be making some uh, watercolors with these. And they'll be fun. So, let's see if our little rocks are dry now. Okay, <clears throat> this is almost dry. You can still see a couple of little white spots there. It's not quite dry, but I'm running out of time today. So, for the sake of giving you guys this video sooner. So, um, a lot of these come with a little sponge applicator. And so you can just go like that and pop it on like that. And you know, for small areas, that's ex that would work. Or you can just dump it off a little bit like this. You know, there's, there's so many different ways to apply glitter. Um, I'm just showing one method. I have other videos that show like using resin is another method, or you can use um, even Mod Podge. Uh, and so what I would do after this is I could put a layer of Mod over top of this, just so any other artwork I put on top of this, uh, it won't scrape off the glitter. 
Um, sometimes if I have leftover resin and I have a few of these primed, I'll use the leftover resin and I'll resin them in. Uh, for example, uh, this one here, I had leftover resin, so I just covered over it. Look at that. Isn't that like heavenly? I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that rock yet. But to me, it, it looked like it needed uh, glitter. <laughs> So I will probably go around the edges with this, um, do a border, so I'm not going to carry it all the way around. But I'll just take it as far as I can here. And if there's spots that you didn't put enough glue, just put a little another little layer of glue and add more glitter. Oh, the old dip in the container finger thing. <laughs> like I said, there's no right or wrong. Just another method. Okay. So there you go. That one's done. I think what I will do is just touch it up in a couple of little spots that's a bit thin. Like here. Yeah, that's pretty good. Stuff gets everywhere. I have it on a paper towel here and I will just throw this paper towel out afterwards because like I said, the glitter just gets everywhere. Now, I haven't done these on wood before. Um, and I forgot to put a layer of mod over the wood before I put the paint. So I think everything's sucking into this here. I want to see. I don't want to waste this one, but I really like it. We'll try it. Experiment. This is uh, my new favorite. I have to order more of this because I'm just... Oh, that mate's amazing. Let's just see. I don't want to waste it, but... This is more like a flake texture, this one. And it's working. Oh my god, wait till you see this one. Get close here. Yeah, definitely gonna have to get more of this one. The thing with AliExpress, unfortunately, you have to be patient. It can take up to like two months to get your order. So I'm always trying to plan ahead. So, you know, <laughs> order now for Christmas. <laughs> Okay, but look at this. Like, that's so, ah, uh, God, amazing. Look at that. Okay, so then you just seal it with some Mod Podge and you're good to go. Anyway, I hope you find that helpful. I just wanted to show after using just a UV top coat what these look like. And that's my little greasy uh, ruby slippers. got these from uh, the Dotting Center. She uh, very kindly sent that these to me with, as a gift with my last order. So I'm going to put something on these. Not sure what yet. I like uh, Rachel's little paw prints. Maybe I'll put a little paw print on them. Anyway, here we go.